Hey everybody, welcome to a little social media thing I'm calling Answers with Aaron, where I attempt to answer some of the questions that you all sent in for our series on the Bible. So I got a question right here from Steve. And uh, Steve, I got to tell you, this is like my favorite question that anybody has sent in so far. Here it is. Dinosaurs, how do they fit in? How do dinosaurs fit into the Bible? And my answer, I don't exactly know. Why? Because I don't think that the Bible specifically addresses dinosaurs. And why would the Bible not talk about dinosaurs? Because the Bible is not a science textbook. That's not the purpose of the Bible. The Bible is a series of writings in which God reveals himself. And so it's no surprise that the, the Bible doesn't talk about a lot of things from the ancient world or our world. Now, with that said, there are some people who believe that the Bible does speak directly about dinosaurs. So there's these uh, obscure passages from way back in the Old Testament, the book of Job, chapters 40 and 41, if I remember right. And there's two animals. One is called Behemoth, and the other is called Leviathan. And they're very interesting creatures. Now, uh, most of the Bible scholars that I know and that I read don't believe that these two animals are dinosaurs. But read it for yourself. Do your own research. It'll be interesting to see what you think about this. Now, a question about dinosaurs in the Bible. It, it's a question about science in the Bible. And a lot of people have questions about this intersection between the Bible and science. And a lot of people would say, well, if you really believe in science, you can't believe in the Bible. Not, not all of it. I mean, the miracles and stuff like that. And at the same time, uh, if you're a Christian, well, you can't really buy everything that the scientific community is teaching either. And so there's this perceived conflict between the Bible and science. But the question is, is there really a conflict between the Bible and science? Is it really a problem? And I don't think that there is a conflict. There doesn't have to be. And if you want to learn more about this idea, I have a great podcast for you. So John Dixon, who's, of course, preaching in this series that we're in, he has a podcast. And by the way, it's fantastic. And uh, he has a specific episode on science and how the conflict between science and Christianity, the Bible, is really based on myth. It, there doesn't need to be a conflict. So we'll put a link in the description uh, down below. Check that out. I think it's a fantastic episode. You might learn some great things. And if you want to learn more about dinosaurs, my advice, I would just watch Jurassic Park. Well, there you go. Answers with Aaron. I hope this has been helpful. We'll see you soon.